And there you have it, the epic. He really is gonna put the packaging, the dirty packaging into the drink like that. So not only is this drink gonna give you diabetes, it's also unsanitary. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's go check this out. I of course, it's Tipsy Bartender, so of course he has to make a mess. Beautiful. Then we got some blue calypso here. You just need a blue punch, okay? Don't worry about what this is. Just get blue. It's food coloring. It's like if you just want to use that just for the blue color, why not just use food coloring? Then we need some Hawaiian punch. I couldn't find a small one, so I just went. Daddy size. Really, you're just gonna buy this giant Hawaiian punch just to use a few ounces out of it? Like, I'm interested on what his prep is like. Does he like go on a grocery run like five minutes before filming this? And break it down with the blue one over here. A little bit more yellow over here. Some more blue over here. A little bit, a little bit more yellow on this side. Perfecto. Let's get some belts over the side. <laughs> of course, it's Tipsy Bartender. You can't have a Tipsy Bartender video without candy. Oh yeah, some of these candy belts. Get some blue, some green. Perfecto. Come behind now with some gummies. More candy? Like what flavor profile is he trying to accomplish here? Get some Skittles. Put a straw in there. Put a straw in here. Dude, there is so much candy in here that if you take a bite out of any of those candies, there's so much sugar, it's gonna destroy your palate so much that that slushy that's underneath is gonna taste like nothing. Because the slushy down there does not have as much sugar as the candies that are being garnished here. Throw some more of them on there. Okay. He just picked that up from the table and just threw it on a drink? And there you have it, the epic. He really is gonna put the packaging, the dirty packaging into the drink like that. So not only is this drink gonna give you diabetes, it's also unsanitary. Now homeboy, we begin with the hen. Hennessy, cognac. This here is Pink Whitney. And then we come behind with some actual Starburst that I'm trying to peel with gloves on, which is... Of course. Can't have a tipsy bartender video without candy. Not like I'm a genius. All right, guys, last one. And now we get all our stuff. You're gonna put the candies on that dirty table and then you're gonna put it in the blender. Like, why not put them into a bowl? It's like, the, the funny thing is he's wearing gloves, you know, to be sanitary, but then now he's also putting the candy on the counter like that. Like, it kind of like defeats the purpose. Now we come in behind with a little bit of sweet and sour, okay? We need a little bit of lemon juice because what goes better with Star Wars than lemon juice? You just put sweet and sour in there. Sweet and sour is supposed to substitute for lemon juice and simple syrup. And you already put the pink Whitney vodka in there, which is pink lemonade, so you already have lemon in there. And of course, as a tipsy bartender fashion, <laughs> you gotta make a mess on the kitchen. Oh yeah. More mess, check. Come over the top. More hen. Why? You already have Hennessy inside the drink. Why are you floating it with the same thing that you already have inside? This is redundant! So I could stick on the side like so. Why do you garnish it with more Starburst? You already put Starburst inside the drink. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Pink Whitney Hennessy Starburst Daiquiri. Oh Lord have mercy. How is this a daiquiri? Daiquiri has lime juice in it. There is no lime juice in this thing. If anything, this is a sidecar. Because there's no rum in it, it's cognac. Oh yeah, cupcake time. Watch this one, boy, watch this. It's gonna be magical. Let's get some ice cream in here. Oh Lord. Oh yes. Right in my corner. Probably no one uses as much ice cream as I say. 
<laughs> I hate talking to people at the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this time he's gonna practice more self-constraint. He's only gonna use half the tub of ice cream. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, we can take off our frosting first. Get that. Why would you buy a cupcake just to take off the frosting? This is like a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> now we come in behind with a little bit of vanilla vodka. Cake vodka, hard to find. You could use cake vodka if you could find it, right? Why are you using vanilla vodka? You just put vanilla ice cream. This is redundant. Oh yeah, that looked good, that looked good. Okay, but hold on, before we get to that homeboy, let's get this right. We got our little frosting right here, this vanilla, okay? Creamy vanilla. More vanilla? Why are you adding the same flavors over and over again? This is becoming more and more redundant. Fine. So I begin to pour, I pour a little bit in my base, right? And then I come in with a nice little shake. Why are you putting more? Sprinkles into the drink. You already have it as a garnish. Now the reason why I'm partial to that side is because I'm coming over here with this. This is redundant! You already put the cupcake inside the blended part of the drink. Why do you need to use it again as a garnish? Who loves you more, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Now guys, now we come with our champagne. It's Prosecco. Well, Sky, what's the difference between Prosecco and Champagne? Prosecco is the Italian version of Champagne, okay? No, it's not. <laughs> so Prosecco and Champagne are not made, it's two completely different processes. Champagne is made by first making a still wine, and then they add sugar and yeast into the bottle, and then they cork it, and then that causes a secondary fermentation, which, and that's how it gets carbonated. Prosecco, on the other hand, uses something called a Charmat process or method in which they carbonate the still wine in a stainless steel tank and then they put it into the bottle already carbonated. So two completely different methods and there's more to it than just where they are made. And a little bit of Berlusconi for you. That even sounds like a wine, hey. His name does sound like a wine, hey. Now you come behind with your little strawberry liqueur, right? And you're... Why? You already have strawberries. This is redundant. It's love. Then we come behind that now. We got our little popsicles. Popsicles. Now we put in a little... You're putting strawberry popsicles in there. So you got strawberries, strawberry liqueur, and now you're putting a strawberry popsicle. This is redundant. It's the same flavor over and over again. And there you have it, okay? The Valentine's Day Mimosa Popsicle Mimosa, okay? Nothing says love like when you could pull out. Nothing says love like not remembering your script. Melted Jolly Ranchers, guys. Just put them in the microwave and we got this. Then I can... Of course, tipsy bartender. So of course there's gonna be candy. Dude, he didn't even tap it. It's not even tight. You need the right colors for this. Oh yeah. Why are you using the, the garnish tongs? Those things already touched the counter, so it's not like they're clean. The whole thing about this drink is prettiness. Aurora Borealis, some of you have never seen it. I never see it, okay. My friends in Norway, I see it all the time. Yes, yeah, guy, you've never seen it. No, I've never seen it. You ever see the beach? Oh, well, they have beaches in Norway. Have you ever seen um, some stuff that ain't... Like, he knows that you can edit this out, right? Three, four. Okay, by the way, this is coconut vodka, all right? So we got coconut vodka. We got coconut rum. Why do you need coconut vodka and coconut rum? They're just two of the same flavor. This is redundant. Not up north, they know beaches up there. I mean, they do have beaches, yes, but not like the warm, sunny stuff that you put your foot in. Okay. Was that a Sobe? This is February 6, 2022. I didn't even know they still made those. Good luck with that, girl. Good luck with that. Let's see how this plays out. Of course, it's tipsy bartender, so you have to make a mess. I realize a lot of y'all go to Aurora Borealis looks nothing like that. How you know, huh? How you know? How have y'all never- Google? You never even really seen this in real life. You know what it is, okay? Because you watch the news, but you never seen it before. Did he seriously- <laughs> Did he 
Did he seriously just put those tongs back into the drawer without washing them? I'm the host. Who cares how you smell it, okay? It's the glowing clouds in the sky, okay? It's when God takes, when God breaks. It's not. That's not what it is. If you had clouds, you wouldn't even be able to see Aurora Borealis. Bang. Sour Patch, my ice cube tray. <laughs> of course. It's tipsy bartender. Of course you can have candy. Now we can hit that with a little bit of Sprite, okay? You're gonna freeze something that's carbonated. I've mentioned before that blending and shaking, carbonated beverages will just cause them to be flat. If you freeze, it's the same thing. When the water molecules crystallize, the carbon dioxide is gonna get released. So it's gonna turn flat. Look at the colors, dude, damn. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna begin with our Smirnoff ice. Okay, I might not go all Oh my god! Does this guy like never do you cannot blend carbonated beverages? It's just gonna turn it flat. It's no, it's, why is he doing this? Now I come in behind that with some hypnotic. You gotta get some blue colors in there. Why do you need blue colors? You just have an assorted array of different colors of the candy. And some of these candies are blue, but you also have the other colors as well. So what's the point? It, they're gonna be different colors. Now we come behind that with a little bit of pineapple juice. Gotta make a mess, cause it's a tipsy bartender video. Pineapple juice ain't gonna change the color too much. Or <sighs> You definitely put more pineapple juice than you did with the hypnotic, and it definitely is way more opaque than hypnotic, so yeah, it will change the color by a lot. You can see it right there. All right, let's blend away and hope for the best. See? No more blue. Because pineapple juice is... The yellowness of pineapple juice, it's way more prominent than the light blue that you get from hypnotic. Oh lord, look at that. This got so much candy in it, oh lord. Now I want a nice little blue curacao base. I think I need too much blue curacao. That's about enough right there. Why did you put blue curacao, but earlier you put orange curacao? The triple sec. Blue curacao is just, you know, orange curacao with food coloring. It's the same flavor, just with food coloring. Don't turn it into like a complete slush, unless you want it like, like her consistency. Now, there's nerds on top of this too. I... More candy? Like, what's the point of this? Why do you have to, you already have candy bits in this drink. Why do you need more candy? What does this contribute? This thing is gonna be so sweet. All right, guys, and here goes. Bye. And there you Dude, those bits of candy is gonna clog up those straws. You can't even drink this with those straws. Stuff, this is freaking cool, girl. I love it. Let me get a little sip on this bad boy. Yeah, you can't, cause this freaking straw just got clogged. He's just sucking in air. Yeah, see, nothing went through. That's right, dead or dry. Grab my strawberry ice cream. Chocolate. I'm not good at flavors. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? How do you get chocolate and strawberry mixed up? And why didn't you just edit that out? This chocolate cookie crumble, but you could use any flavor. So this stuff. Yeah, strawberry. <laughs> this should have cookie pieces in it. But any kind of chocolate ice cream is fine, you see? This just went on his hand! Like, why even use a scoop? Why not just dig it up with your freaking hands? When I blend ice cream, I always ask myself, why not just use the whole carton, you know? I'm pretty sure you have used the whole carton many, many times. This one time, I don't feel it's necessary for me to use all, so I'm just like, He's on a diet. I'll leave a little bit, just in case someone's hungry. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Just save a little bit for the wife, because you, know, you can't be too selfish. So we can start with chocolate vodka. One, two, three, four, ah. Might as well just call it redundant flavored vodka. Okay, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that gooey goodness. And you come with a nice game here. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is like a really, really runny milkshake. I grab a whole brownie 
and then go rest it on the side like so. Guys, this is a chocolate one. Now I can put a little scaffold in here, right? Now I coming over. You see what we just did? I like to come in with some of these sprinkles, you know, because since they are little. What's gonna hold that brownie in place? It's gonna fall over as soon as you try to pick up that drink or when you try to stick a straw into it. Bang! And there you have it! The brownie something, okay? I don't know, milkshake, brownie. You don't even know the name of your own drinks? Like he's just making this up as he's going along. Madness, brownie, craziness, a lot of brownies. Okay, guys? Of course, <laughs> freaking mess on the kitchen. Might as well just call it a messy milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> with strawberry ice cream. And let me go in for a nice little sip of this bad boy. <laughs> you can taste the chocolate. You like chocolate? <laughs> oh really? I totally wasn't expecting it to taste like chocolate. You sure you don't taste any strawberries in there? Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave it on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.